morning, taxpayers. Good morning, Cynthia. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. So we will begin our session today with a word of prayer. And then uh, Madam Cynthia will kick off the engagement with Mr. Kasim Mohammed. So let's believe as we pray. Uh, to our Heavenly Father, what in heaven, we come giving you thanks and glory for your continued guidance and protection. As we are about to engage in this discussion, may you please make it fruitful. May we be able to converse well and may the day ahead be well. Forgive us through our trespasses and see us through everything that we do. As I'm saying this short prayer, I do believe and trust in your holy name. Amen. Okay, so uh, thank you for listening. And uh, Cynthia will kick us off. Hi, hi Cynthia. I can you hear me? Okay, thank you. Thank you for inviting me to this session. Uh, looking forward to to the session. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you once again. Um, so withholding tax is, uh, is, is uh, a tax that is part of the bigger income tax uh, uh, taxes. And uh, we can say that withholding tax is a tax that is deducted at source uh, by the payer on payments to both resident persons and also non-resident persons on various sources of income. It can be interest income, it can be dividend income, it can be as, as provided for in, in, in the Income Tax Act. This meeting is being so, recorded. Depending on the income source and the recipient, with the holding tax can be uh, a final tax and it can also be an advanced tax. That means that the tax can be deducted at the end of the year. It can be uh, used as an advanced tax in calculating the final tax liability at the end of the year. So uh, in, in, in the case of, maybe let me start with the, the, the case of advanced tax. For example, if uh, a company in Kenya, for example, I can say uh, XYZ company in Kenya that is uh, doing business with a, a consultant that is, uh, uh, I can say ABC Associates. So when, when the, the company XYZ is paying the, ABC associates at the at the point of making that uh, withholding tax at the point of making the the payment for those services 
they are going to withhold at uh, 5%. So that 5% is a tax that is um, paid on behalf of the associates company and the associates company are going to, to claim it at the end of the year. So it's, it's uh, a tax credit that is afforded to, to, to the, the person deriving the income. In this case, it's associates. So that, that credit is going to be available for the, the company to reduce their tax liability at the end of the year. So that is the, the, the scenario for, for advanced tax, which is, not, which is not a final tax. So in the case of a final tax is um, in certain scenarios where the, the, the person who's deriving the income is not allowed to, to, to declare or to calculate their, their taxes. So that, that uh, withholding tax is deemed to be final. That means that that income that is associated with that withholding tax is not going to be uh, subject to tax further. So the withholding tax is now uh, uh, referred to as a final tax because there's no further tax that is going to be applied on, on that income. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you for for that. I think that's a good question. In as far as the uh, refund of uh, taxes is concerned, a person can be a person is uh, is is is, um, is is has the avenue to 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 do an application to the commissioner. In as far as uh, uh, a refund of a tax is concerned, so there are various. Uh, reasons for uh, that application it can be an erroneous payment so if if uh, if the case is uh, is 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 uh, is an erroneous tax payment then that tax is going to be uh, is is going to be processed by the the commissioner and the the subject to validation and uh, and uh, processing by the refunds department then that tax can be refunded back to the, the person who paid. In other cases, the, the person who's making the payment maybe paid it to, uh, maybe, uh, for example, KRA paid it to myself instead of maybe making it to another person. So in that case, KRA can be able to, to cancel that withholding certificate and be able to get that credit, credit voucher, and utilize it in any other uh, payments uh including the correct payment or the correct withhold uh withhold D. yes So uh, withholding tax is, uh, um, I, I can say it's a, it's a mode of operation of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of the income tax. It's one of the ways of, of, uh, of, of accounting for income tax. As you know, there, there are several taxes under the income tax, or let me say direct taxes that are accounted for by, by they're accounted for at the source. 
So one of them is uh, pay as yuan. Pay as yuan is also part of um, uh, income tax and the payment is done at source, meaning when the employer uh, pays you your salaries or director's fees or bonuses and so on and so forth, at that point, the employer is required to to, to withhold a certain percentage. So if the, 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 the salary or bonus is uh, uh, at the, the, the highest bracket, then they are going to do uh, withholding at, uh, at source. Let me not say withholding, but they are going to deduct that tax at source at the rate of 35%. So that, that operation is also extended to a withholding tax. That means when you are making a payment for a professional service, a consulting uh, service or a contractual service or any other service that is subject to scope of um, uh, withholding taxes, then you withhold bit, a bit of the tax uh, depending on the tax rates that is provided for and the tax rates are provided for in the, in the, in the, in the KRA website. So once, once you make that payment, you'll be knowing that I'm paying a professional service and I'm paying it to, for example, a resident person at the rate of 5%. If I'm making the payment to a non-resident person, then I know the, the, the tax rate is at 20%. So at that, at that point, I'll know that I'll be, I'll be operating a tax, a withholding tax at, at that point. So that is, that is the meaning, that is the difference between um, the, uh, the income tax that is, uh, let me say, other income taxes, for example, the installment tax, where the installment tax is, uh, is, 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 is uh, calculated based on uh, the profits or the tax installments of the prior, prior year. And then they are prorated or they are calculated based on uh, what the, 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 the business person is, is, uh, is foreseeing. So if 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 uh, if if I can say the withholding tax is on transaction basis, and the income tax business is on um, on on determined profits or projections. I don't know if that's a fair uh, assessment. Uh, yeah, so uh, the Finance Act 2023, uh, let me start with the Finance Act, Finance Bill 2023. Uh, they introduced uh, uh, one of the most discussed uh, 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 issues in the Finance Act or in the Finance Bill uh, before the Finance Act was, uh, was approved was the issue of uh, uh, attacks on sources of income in the digital economy, specifically in the content creation, so so the the, the government introduced at the beginning a fifteen percent withholding tax uh, proposal that was targeted at uh, uh, a wide range of services that was uh, uh, identified as content monetization. So so that was the. The, the the proposal in the beginning and that discussion was uh, was uh, was was uh, was um, the center stage i can say of the finance finance bill as far as content creation is concerned uh, but we know we discussed more the issue of um, the, uh, the the housing levy and uh, and, and uh, the the issues around uh, housing tax is concerned uh, the so the the the, the sector decided, uh, reached out to the government and the, 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 the parliamentary uh, committee and they, they agreed to reduce the tax rate from 15% to 5%. So 
effective as, as that uh, the Finance Act 2023, uh, the the withholding tax on content monetization was reduced to five uh, percent, and that is uh, that that is on specific uh, sources of income. Uh, according to the definition of uh, the content monetization under section 2 of the income tax Cynthia In, 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 in terms of the tax rate, uh, specifically on the withholding tax rate, I, 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 I don't think there's any other that was um, uh, amended, say maybe for a few definitions that were, were done in, uh, in as far as operations of transactions that are subject to withholding tax. For example, uh, in, in the betting sector, there, there was a new definition uh, there was a new definition in as far as uh, winnings is concerned, and and that essentially affects the the oper the uh, what 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 is what is under scope in as far as withholding tax is concerned, and and uh, the the the, the, um, the the finance act clarified that uh, the 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 amount that is subject to to withholding tax is the amount that is excluding. Uh, uh, the amount that is ticked or wagered in that uh, in the process of betting, so that is the other definition. But uh, as far as uh, withholding tax is concerned, uh, that was the only tax rate. Uh, that was the only introduction as far as tax rates is concerned. Uh, in as far as uh, as far as uh, content monetization is concerned, is, uh, is, uh, the, Yes. Um, yeah. So I was saying, you can hear me. Yeah. So the 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 Finance Act introduced a new uh, definition that is the uh, content monetization definition that is um, uh, that was targeting with the whole transactions in the digital economy in the creative economy and the digital economy at large for for purposes of uh, accounting for transactions that are happening in the in the creative sector specifically the the government was targeting content that is being monetized by the by the content creators so the 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 definition of content creation is uh, is 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 providing a large scope of uh, services that it deems to be to be subject to uh, subject to content creation, subject to monetization in the digital uh, content creation. So, one of the services one one of the services is uh, if if maybe I can give an example is uh, when a content creator is providing, for example, um, uh, a service to the to 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 the um, to a specific company that is maybe uh, advertising for them or maybe endorsing a, a product. So in the process, the content creator uh, uh, produces a, a short video 
or a short skit of uh, of of, of uh, uh, a product, and they they basically maybe tag or maybe promote that product in the process of in the process of um, that producing that content. So for that service, the content creator might be remunerated for that service by the by the by the company. And uh, and that transaction is subject to withholding tax, maybe on uh, on on advertising. But then, if if the content creator is 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 uh, is, uh, is, uh, is going to monetize that content for purposes of generating an extra revenue, then that is the target. Uh, that is a target uh, 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 transaction as far as withholding tax on content monetization is concerned. I don't know if that makes it uh, a bit clearer. Cynthia? Yes. So in, 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 in the process of uh, uh, doing content creation, there are several sources of uh, income uh, that, that, that the, the, the content creator is, is, um, is, is going to derive. Uh, one of them is, uh, is uh, if they, they upload their content, for example, in a, in a, in a, in a, a, video, uh, a video streaming platform, for example, like uh, YouTube. The, the the owner of the platform will sign a contract or will provide a contract for 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 purposes of uh, of uh, remunerating the content creator based on the number of views that are that are from that platform that are uh, the views are attributed to the number of users that are signing up or subscribing to to that uh, platform. For example, if you have a a million subscribers, the remuneration is a bit different from someone who has uh, 10,000 uh, subscribers. Yeah, so that one is taken care of by uh, uh, digital services tax. And uh, the person who's going to be responsible for, 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 that, uh, for, for that share of income is going to be uh, the platform owner. In this case, if the platform owner is going to be deriving Five percent uh, commission, then the platform owner is going to be required to 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 account for digital services tax on that portion of income. On the remaining portion of income, the the resident person who is the content creator is going to be uh, required to do uh, uh, if if they are registered as a company, they are going to do corporation tax. So the corporation tax is going to be uh, at the rate of 30%, depending on how they calculate their, their profits, because corporation tax is on their profits or, or loss. If, if they have a loss, they're not going to be uh, paying any, any taxes. So on that, on, 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 on that specific transaction, the, 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 the services are going to be uh, uh, subject to uh, uh, with, with the holding uh, subject to digital services tax and uh, the resident person, the, the, the income is going to be subject to, to uh, income tax, either corporation tax or turnover tax or uh, whichever regime of income tax uh, the resident person is in. Then now, now, now just to give the, the, the context of now the monetization, the same content creator, the same content creator is going to to, to uh, upload the same content, but then additionally, the content creator is going to be uh, monetizing this content, meaning their advertisements are going to, to be uh, on their platform. So that content that is appearing on that platform is what uh, uh, specifically 
is going to be the target of withholding tax on content monetization. So if, if there's a resident person who is, uh, who is uh, monetizing that content, then the, the, the income that is attributed to that uh, monetization is what is subject to content, uh, withholding tax on content monetization. I don't know if uh, that maybe uh, brings in more questions or uh, brings clarity on, on the issue. Uh, yes, there are scenarios where the withholding tax is exempt. So withholding tax is part of uh, the larger income tax, and, uh, and 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 there are exemptions. So if if uh, the the cabinet secretary has issued uh, an individual or a company with an exemption, then that income is going to be exempt from withholding tax as well. Yeah. Then there's uh, there's uh, there are certain payments that are. Um, uh, not subject to to withholding tax for example if a transaction is between uh two parties which are which have a a, a, a double tax treaty then the the withholding tax may be reduced to to zero so meaning that they are going to be exempt from uh, uh withholding tax then um in in other areas for example such as uh in the in the industry of uh of uh in the industry of uh, flower farming, there are certain withholding payments that are not subject to. There are certain pay, uh, transactions that are not subject to withholding tax. Additionally, in in the area of uh, filming and uh, film film producing, there are certain payments that are approved or certain transactions that are approved by by the film. Uh, uh, can I say film commission? Uh, that are subject to that are already exempt from from uh, income tax, and and subject to uh, of course uh, approvals from the cabinet secretary treasury, uh, they are exempt from uh, uh, from uh, income tax as well as withholding uh, tax. Cynthia. Yeah, sure, sure, Cynthia. Uh, that's that's a good question. I 
I, I would, uh, I, I would maybe like to know the specifics of uh, of, of uh, the, the the software license. But ideally, the the, the area of um, the area of uh, uh, digital economy, beginning uh, twenty twenty one, has has uh, elicited uh, elicited. Um, uh, uh, several queries in as far as uh, um, what what is under scope in as far as digital services tax is concerned, uh, as well as what is uh, uh, subject to tax under withholding tax regime on on uh, transactions in the digital economy sector. And one of them is uh, actually software licenses. And uh, we would like to 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 maybe clarify that uh, any income that is subject to uh, uh, digital service withholding tax, then is 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 exempt from from uh, uh, withholding tax. I don't know if that answers uh, the question. Maybe yeah, maybe Maraswa can yeah. Yeah, depending on, uh, I, I think uh, the, uh, the there's a timeline that is according to our service charter. Uh, I believe it's ninety days, uh, but we can refer to the service charter uh, and uh, and and ninety working days. Yes, so so that that is the timeline for for processing of uh, the refund. So, for example, if you apply. For a refund today, I, I believe there are few. They are almost. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 90 working days to the end of the year, or if it's 90 uh, days to to the end of the year. So you can you can uh, do the math and see whether you can apply today to to be able to get your refunds in 90 working days. Uh, the three percent uh, uh, contractual fees, uh, three percent withholding tax on contractual fees is on uh, all fees that are related to building, civil, and engineer, engineering works. Of course, when there's a building or a civil engineering works, there's usually a, 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 there's usually a bill of quantities that is um, uh, attached to the fee. And all 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 fees that are related to to the building, civil and engineering works are going to be subject to to uh, uh, withholding tax at three percent. But yeah. Oh yes, I was saying if if there's a there's an additional if there's an additional maybe clarification on the on the specifics of of what what transactions or what fees are, are not clear in as far as the the contractual fee is concerned, maybe you can share with us. Yes.
so if 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 uh, if I get the question right, is uh, if 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 for example uh, the withholding tax is subject to if if it's relating to a company, so the company is uh, is operating at the tax rate of thirty percent. So the five percent, uh, the five percent, um, the five percent withholding tax is going to be an advanced tax. So what that means is, if if your tax liability at the end of the year is, uh, for example, a hundred thousand, then the five percent equivalent is is going to be, for example, a hundred thousand. Yeah, so that gives a net of zero. So then there's no further taxation of uh, of that uh, person. Yeah, but then if the the the, the tax liability at the end of the year is calculated as a hundred thousand, and uh, and 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 uh, the withholding tax that is uh, five percent is totaling to, for example, fifty thousand, then the the balance of fifty thousand is going to be subject to further payments. So the thirty percent is uh, the remaining fifty thousand is going to be effectively calculated at at twenty five percent. So yes, it's it's still going to be applicable to 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 the the graduated uh, tax rates. So if it's an individual, then the, the individual is calculating the, uh, the, the, the incomes at the graduated tax rates. Uh, yes. So, if if there's a if there's a DTA between, for example, Kenya and uh, South Africa or Kenya France, there's a DTA between Kenya and France. There's a DTA between Kenya and the UK. There's a DTA between uh, Kenya and Zambia, and so on and so forth. And uh, transactions that are going to be subject to double tax treaty, then the withholding tax is going to be specified in the withholding tax. Uh, it, the, the, the withholding tax rates are going to be specified in the in the double tax agreement. So, in the case of, for example, um, in the case of uh, the, the the countries I've mentioned, the tax rates are usually uh, reduced depending on the type of uh, transaction. So, depending on the, the the transaction, if the transaction is a consulting professional or a, a money management fees uh, type of a transaction then the, the 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 tax rates are going to be defined in the in the in the double tax uh, agreements yeah Uh, uh, I, I may not, yes. Yes, I got that question. I, 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 
I am not sure if the the the, the information on uh, 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 you can hear me. Hello. Yes. So I was saying. Uh, I, I am not aware of uh, the, the Finance Act 2023 uh, amending the the threshold of uh, the 24,000 per month. But then we we can confirm maybe after this meeting. Yeah. I don't know if there's another question that is relating to that question from Joseph uh, so that we can also uh check if that may have an impact on the the follow-up we can follow up maybe in the course of this meeting yes That, that's okay. Yeah, that, that's okay. Okay, uh, thank you, Cynthia. So uh, to the taxpayers who are on YouTube, we do see your questions. Thank you very much for the engagement. Uh, to Mr. Kasim, Mr. Wambua Ngao has a question which reads, if a company engaged in media businesses has smart meters with KPLC and goes ahead and makes payment to KPLC without withholding, is this okay? That is the question we have from Wambua Ngao on YouTube. Kindly repeat, just repeat that question, please. Okay, uh, the taxpayer is asking if a company engaged or is engaging in media businesses and it has smart meters with KPLC and the company goes ahead and makes payments to KPLC without the withholding tax, is this okay? That is from Mr. Wambu Angao on YouTube. Okay. Do you have any other uh, I pick I address this one first? Uh, yes, just uh, address it. Uh, his follow-up question is uh, because the smart meters will disconnect automatically. No, uh, it's just this one. It's just this one. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe I'll, 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 I'll inquire further on, on the, the details of the, the media business, but uh, on the nature of the service of uh, on the nature of engagement between the uh, the company and uh, the KPLC, uh, okay. 
maybe this is a question of uh, whether the, 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 the transaction of, of the service is going to be and the service is going to be falling and uh, consulting or whether it's going to be falling and uh, construction. So it's a question of uh, maybe Yes, um, uh, sorry, sorry for that. Uh, I don't know if I'm audible, Cynthia. Yes, so yeah, so so what what I was saying is um, for for that specific uh, question, there there may be need to maybe further interrogate the the engagement between the company and the the the, the KPLC to to just check what what is um, outlined in the contracts uh, for specifics um, for additional information. Uh, the, the 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 nature of that service may be management or the nature of that service may be uh, contractual depending on, uh, on on the details of the contract uh, for, for for that engagement i i hope that maybe we can pick up that conversation or maybe we can uh, uh, we can ask um, wambua to to maybe reach out to their the tax uh, account manager and their tax account manager can can be able to guide further in as far as uh, uh the, whether withholding tax is subject to that transaction or not uh, okay so there's uh mr titus he's asking what is what is the withholding uh, no, 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 no. That is from uh, Webex. The one on YouTube is uh, he has. He's still typing. I'll let him finish typing, and then I'll read it out. Uh, did I get the question right? I believe there's no withholding tax on that type of a transaction. In 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 that in that case, there's no withholding tax. Uh, uh, due date is uh, is 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 uh, is is within five days of payment. So if the payment is done, yeah, if the payment has been done, uh, uh, for example, on the first of October, that is on Monday, or sorry, on Sunday, then the the payment is due uh, uh, within five working days of. Uh, of that payment so if five working days happens to be in the course of next week a working day of next week then it's going to be uh, that is going to be the uh, the last day of payment of that uh, with the holding tax
Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, working days. Uh, yes, if if so, the freelancer is going to calculate his uh, his his tax liabilities, and then um, incorporate that five percent within their tax calculation. So, if the tax, as I was as I indicated, if the tax liability, for example, is um, is is is, um, is a hundred thousand, and the withholding taxes at five percent come to fifty k, uh, uh, then uh, his tax liability is going to be reduced by. By the withholding tax that is fifty thousand. So he's actually answered the the answer correctly. The question. Yeah. Yeah, so so uh, as 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 you all are aware, the, the the introduction of digital services tax was introduced in January twenty twenty one, and um, there's there's a wide scope of services in as far as uh, uh, digital services is concerned in the in the digital economy sector, and uh, software licenses happen to be falling under that uh, uh, category of uh, the scope of services, and. Uh, if 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 the the transaction if if the person who's supplying that uh, software license is uh, is is subject to is is operating uh, digital services tax then the 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 service is not going to be accounted for and 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 withholding tax but then there's there's a thin line between uh, uh, operation of withholding tax on on uh, uh, items such as softwares and software licenses included, so it's it's a uh, it's an item that is uh, uh, has uh, brought up some discussion in as far as uh, uh, what tax should be uh, uh, preceding the other, but uh, ideally, if if the service is being provided for by uh, a non-resident person, then the Kenyan person is uh, operating with holding tax. Then the non-resident person is is not required to to charge digital services tax on that transaction. But then, in the case where the the non-resident, uh, the resident person doesn't uh, account for withholding tax, then the non-resident person is is going to be required to 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 charge and uh, account for digital services tax. I don't know if that uh, brings in clarity on, on the question, or maybe a few other questions are going to come on that. I know it's a challenging area. I, 
I, I maybe uh, invite uh, the, the, the persons who've asked the question, maybe they can get in touch with the tax office that is the, the Digital Economy Tax Office, and then maybe we can get um, a clarity on uh, the specifics of uh, of uh, case by case cases. Case by case basis, sorry. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you for it for for that. I I, I think maybe you can uh, you can reach out to your office because I think that's a technical issue. It's a system related issue. Maybe you can reach out to your specific office. Then the tax account manager can be able to 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 guide you on uh, on how best to to address the issue because they can be able to give you an update on whether it's an issue of an, a system or not. Uh, withholding tax, withholding income tax, ev everyone is, uh, there's no appointment for withholding income tax. Uh, so it happens to be, uh, if if you, you qualify it, or if you happen to have a transaction that is subject to withholding tax, then automatically you are, you're going to be required to, to operate withholding tax. Um, maybe contrary to withholding VAT, uh, withholding VAT, uh, the, the, the commissioner is going to uh, appoint you or a person is going to be appointed by the commissioner to, to actually be an, uh, a withhold, withholding VAT agent. So withholding uh, income tax is, is different from withholding VAT in that sense. So, so VAT and income tax are, are different tax uh, taxes. So VAT is accounted for by by the the person who's purchasing the uh, the, the the service or the goods. So VAT is not going to be um, it, it's it's not going to be uh, there's going to be a difference between the operations of uh, withholding income tax and the operations of uh, VAT. The same transaction can be subject to uh, both taxes. It can be subject to withholding tax, that is income tax in general, and then the same uh, service is going to be subject to uh, uh, VAT. So the VAT is paid by by the, the 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 person who's purchasing, while on this other side, withholding tax is paid by the by the the, the 
is paid by the person who's making the payment on behalf of the uh, on behalf of the person who's who made the the, the uh, who provided the service of who uh, sold the goods. I hope that's clear. Yeah, I think uh, um, maybe correct me, Cynthia, if I'm wrong. But there's a um, there's there's um, there's a publication on uh, uh, withholding. Oh no, there's a publication on double tax agreements on uh, on the KRA website as well as the Treasury, the Treasury website as well. So we can get we can uh, maybe uh, uh, I don't know what promise we can share the link maybe via chat or maybe we can share directly to to the persons who are asking the the the, the same but you can you can be able to find that information on um, on on other sources of uh, uh, data such as the, the internet as well The purchase of beverages. I didn't quite get the question, but uh, if the question is relating to goods, there's no withholding tax on goods. But if it's a service, maybe we can be able to get uh, additional information on the, the, the transaction. Is it that um, there's uh, there's an invoice that has inclusive of uh, entertainment as well as um, uh, inclusive of beverages here and there. I am not sure what the question is, but you can be able to get in touch with us as we be, we are able to, as we able to get uh, to maybe look into the, the issue further. Yeah, that's yes. So that's a good question. The the the, the withholding tax is exclusive of uh, any taxes. So including VAT, it's exclusive of VAT. I don't get the question. Sure. Yeah, so Yeah, so 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 yeah. Thank you for that question. I think uh, if 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 the the content creator is yet to make any income, then the 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 revenue authority is not going to ask for any taxes on that, on that uh, uh, from that content creator. But then, if the content creator maybe starts to generate income in future, then they are, they, 
they they may be required to to uh, to uh, be subject to a few taxes here and there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. Uh, yes, I, I I think that the simple answer is yes. Um, I, I believe that's part of uh, uh, management of of uh, of it's part of a management service. So it 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 may qualify based on the the information that you've provided. But then if you if if maybe there's additional information on uh, that uh, query. Uh, I think it, the, the answer may be a bit different, but then from the information you've provided, I think it's uh, it it it, uh, it 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 looks like it's a management service. So then it's subject to withholding tax.
Yeah, it's it's possible my my number. I may just chat my number. That is my. Uh, you can get me on that number. That's a office line. So you you, yeah. So you can get me from eight to five on that number. Uh, thank you, thank you, Cynthia, for that. Um, I I just want to thank the organizers for for scheduling this uh, uh, sensitization. And uh, to to the participants, also thank you for joining. And uh, it's it's uh, always good to get to hear your questions. And uh, you can reach out reach out to any career offices. Uh, you can reach out to offices on um, on the social media. I think you can be able to find our channels all over. And uh, and and uh, thank you once again. We I look forward to meeting you again in other sessions. Thank you. Uh, to the taxpayers, again, many thanks for joining the session. This will not have been possible without you. And to Mr. Kasim Mohamed Asante Sana, you are, the way you've handled the questions and the engagement, it has been very, very well done. And to the audience on YouTube, Asante Sana for your engagement, your questions. Uh, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more engagement. And uh, we will grow as a community. So. I'm finishing off with a word of prayer. And again, many thanks to all the participants who attended. So let's uh, believe as we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come giving you thanks and glory for your protection, your guidance, and for seeing us through this meeting as we embark and continue with our day uh, in various places where we are. See us through the day. Guide us, forgive us, and continue blessing us. As I'm saying this short prayer, I do trust and believe in your holy name. Amen. All right. Thank you again and have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye.